And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for September 28th. A new name storm today, Tropical Storm Kajira, which is progressing towards the northwest in the Western Pacific Basin. It's the only active tropical cyclone. A few areas to watch though in the next few days across multiple basins. Um, day 272 of the year so far. In the Atlantic, day 120 of hurricane season, the remnants of Paulette still alive near the Azores and a new 20% chance area of interest has emerged in the Western Caribbean Sea and we expect those chances will start to increase as the week goes on. In the Eastern Pacific, day 137, the remnants of Lowell continuing towards the Hawaiian Islands, it will miss. Um, and that area of interest, chances continuing to increase on that. National Hurricane Center more confident than we are, 80% they're giving it for development. In the Western Pacific, we've got Kajira and we've also got two potential areas to its west, uh, northwest and southwest near the Mariana Islands there. Uh, could develop in the next five days, not likely. We will probably have more developments next week um, than we have this week. In the Indian Ocean, things looking fairly quiet here, still no storms active and no signals that we'll see anything here for at least a good week or two yet. Looking at the Atlantic Ocean then, you can see uh, potentially where this area of interest is originating and it's that little area of convection there, that wave that's moving through the eastern most part of the Caribbean could be that system. Um, you can also see what's left of Paulette near the Azores just about right up there. It's still going and in the, Carib uh, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico things looking somewhat quiet but you've got a few storms moving through uh, Florida, the whole peninsula really. In the Eastern Pacific you can see there that whole big line of storms which uh, extend from west to east there almost to the coast of Mexico uh, some of that will develop into the next tropical cyclone we think that's towards the middle of the image is that area that's starting to just about acquire a tiny little bit of rotation and that will become more prominent soon in the western pacific you've got a rather disorganized Kajira uh, some doubt actually as to whether it's even got a circulation and it looks to be pirouetting around another little system down there to the southwest which models haven't picked up on tiny blob of convection uh, but for Mascat no indications that that is a tropical cyclone or anywhere near. South Pacific looking fairly quiet today uh, thunderstorms continuing to move in towards the west moving over mainly the Solomon Islands today uh, and parts of Papua New Guinea and in the Indian Ocean the North Indian Ocean this is uh, you can see general monsoonal patterns mainly over uh, the Malay Peninsula in Indochina um, and a small area of southern India. Sea surface temperatures today, uh, the eastern Pacific very much similar to what they have been recently, 28 degrees plus in the far eastern Pacific, that's the real hotbed now that we were looking out for in, in till the end of October really when the eastern Pacific dies off. The Atlantic areas to watch, uh, mainly the Caribbean obviously, I think we've made that pretty clear by now. Uh, southern and central Gulf of Mexico, western Atlantic off the eastern seaboard of the US you could see more activity yet. The Indian Ocean, um, again the Bay of Bengal, signs that it will warm up um, at least in storm developments by the middle part of October and if you're wondering about southern hemisphere activity we're thinking uh, late October with the first little glimpses of what we might see later this season. The western Pacific very warm as usual uh, where all those areas of interest are and, trop and the tropical storm Kajira temperatures 28 to 30 degrees uh, and higher in the Philippine Sea and parts of the South China Sea. Here's the sea surface temperature anomalies and you can see once again it's uh, a very prominent feature there in the uh, central point of the Pacific the La Nina uh, but the western Pacific remains above average generally and obviously the Caribbean sticks out like a sore thumb there as well extending to the main development region and even Africa might not shut down until late October you know. Uh, anyway on September 28th 1955 a rather historic storm Hurricane Janet was peaking and making landfall as a category 5 on this day on the Yucatan Peninsula. Belize I believe was the landfall zone. Uh, Louise was also a category 3 headed towards the Japanese islands on this date. 
Japan March was a developing tropical storm. Also on this day in 2015, Typhoon Dezhen was making landfall in northern Taiwan. Also, uh, I think it's Elsie in 1981 was peaking as a Category 5 as well. Just want to uh, stick that one in there as well. Anyway, in the Atlantic, uh, should that 20% chance form, and the next name on this incredible naming list so far will be Gamma, the Greek letters. In the Eastern Pacific, the next name is Marie. In the Central Pacific, Hone is next up. In the Western Pacific, Chan Hom will be the next name on the list, followed by Linfa. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're still waiting for Gatti. And in the Southern Hemisphere and the upcoming season, again, probably not likely for at least a month, Imogen in the Australian region, Alicia will kick off the Southwest Indian Ocean, and in the South Pacific, and the next name there is Yolanda. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.